G'day everyone, Greg here from Fishback Films and welcome back to the Build Subdivision and Mountain Out of a Molehill Part 4. And you can see my the old Kato 882 there, SD70 Mac, which I'm controlling with my phone using an Australian invention called Wi-Fi Tracks. Now there's a, uh, a uh, review, yes, of that coming up in coming weeks. Uh, not of the cab on the phone, that's a proprietary uh, app that you can download, but the actual hardware that lets you do that without JMRI. So that's coming up in a few weeks. But we're here today to talk about the tunnel portal. Yes, it's in and it's weathered and we'll get some close up shots in a minute. And the scenery is all finished here. So we'll have a look at that, how we've done that. And it's come out pretty good, I think. Probably needed to go a bit higher here. I'm thinking of the dirt here because it probably would be out further, but I'll, I'll put some rocks in there to fix that. Uh, but all in all, for a concept idea, I haven't seen this done anywhere else. Uh, I'm sure it has been done, but I haven't seen anyone model a partially daylighted tunnel before. Well, here it is. And it sort of gives a little bit of an explanation of why, you know, this track is so close to this one. And just to tie the scene in, you know, we all have to do that in model railroad. So, We'll have a look at uh, how we got this far. Let's uh, have a squeeze. Now the plaster ribs and the plaster cloth were given a light coat of uh, plaster wash and heavier on the cardboard bracing there. And then a light coat of gray and some burnt umber. And we left some of the white plaster showing through as well, just to give it that old concrete look. And of course that would built up with plaster there. And we'll have to put uh, some rock molds in there to cover that, that hole up. But hopefully she should blend in and look okay. And of course down the bottom we'll have to make a bit of a rock wall there to simulate being carved away. With our plaster cloth completed, the tunnel is now in place and it's time to come back with our plaster rocks and our plaster and do some carving. Well, what do you think of that? I'm going to cast another one of these and put that exactly there. So this rock can stick out here and that's just a bit that they couldn't be bothered getting rid of. And then I'll just carry these bits of rock up through here with a uh, free hand. Yes, rock carving, which I have done some up here. So a bit more practice, Volker, yes. And I think that looks pretty cool. So for first attempt, I think it's pretty good. And something different, something you don't see on, you know, a lot of layouts. And it certainly fixed this problem here of having these two tracks 
being too close together and tunnels too close and all that sort of thing. So anyway, that'll do. And we'll come back and have a look when I've got all this scenic and the rocks are in and a bit of color on there and we'll see how it's transformed. So thank you for watching this series. The next thing coming up will be a review on the Wi-Fi tracks, which is the module that I'm using to run my trains with my phone without JMRI. It's a standalone Wi-Fi encoder invented by uh, an Australian. And did you know that Wi-Fi was invented in Australia? That's right, just down the road here by the CSIRO in Indrapilly in Australia. So there you go. And the uh, people that wanted, the, that invented it got a Nobel Prize, but of course we don't hear about that. All we hear about stupid football and sports on TV. Nothing, you know, who wants to know about Wi-Fi that everybody uses? Anyway, hmm, that's who invented Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi Tracks is also invented by an Australian. So there you go, that's coming up uh, in a few weeks' time. Hope you enjoyed this Mountain Out of a Molehill series. It's certainly been fun to make and interesting to learn how to do all this stuff. And I'm inspired by all the great modelers out there, Volker in Germany, Fall River, Mr. Parker, a fantastic layout that I was you know, very fortunate to have a look at when I was in the States. But anyway, that'll do for now. Oh, and La Mesa, of course. La Mesa's another fantastic club. We'll catch you back on the Birdwood Sun very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Career for now. Bye-bye.